Your smartphone might have an octa-core processor and your computer might be having a quad-core processor or even less than that. Why is that smartphones have more processor cores than computers? Hey, how's it going guys? Geek Srikanth here and welcome to the new series where I explain interesting technology and more. Before moving, please consider subscribing and liking. So let's get started. Quad core processor is a single chip with four independent cores that does the processing work. So each core is a central processing unit. So the octa core processor should give twice the performance, right? Well, not quite right. See, the octa core processors have dual quad core processors, and the modern octa core mobile chips are based on ARM's big little architecture. For this video, let's call the two sets of cores as high power cores and low power cores, where the high power cores can deliver high performance when required and the low power cores deliver low level of performance. The former requires high power and the latter requires less power. The point of having two sets of quad core processors is for energy efficiency. As smartphones demand have risen, so has the demand for battery. But the battery technology has not advanced at the speed at which mobile processor technology has. And the battery is not really there yet to provide the processor with power all day long. So ARM developed a dual quad core processor. Usually one set of core is used at a time. Low power cores are used mostly including for tasks like reading and sending email, navigation around the operating system, browsing web and more. While the high power cores are used when more power is needed including for tasks such as intensive gaming or editing photo or video. One example for this video is Apple manages to get decent battery life and performance out of quad core setup in their iPhones. Let's move on to the topic. It is not necessary that there have to be equal high and low cores. Phones that have hexa-core processors usually have two pair of powerful cores and four power-efficient cores. So a smartphone with octa-core processor doesn't necessarily mean it is better than phones with quad-core processors. The overall performance also depends on many more factors such as amount and type of RAM, size and speed of onboard cache, and software being used. So before consider buying a phone, do keep in mind it is not only about core counts, but much more. There was time and effort involved in the making of this video. So guys, please consider liking, subscribing and comment your thoughts. As always, hashtag thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Be happy and stay positive.